this was a Walmart worker. You can see his Walmart. He has his sweater and his, I mean, his vest is a Walmart vest on it. Perhaps a, uh, I'm not going to assume what type of worker, but he, he uh, has his Walmart vest on right now. And he's doing a video like seconds or maybe minutes after leaving the actual shooting or inside the premises. So let's listen. It's less than a minute. Just left out the break room. Manager come in there, started capping people up in there. Started shooting, bro. Like, I'm whole, though, y'all. Sadly, though, we lost a few of our associates. I don't know how many. I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to show it because I ain't like that. But I'm whole, y'all. The story is that. I mean, I came in. Got down. I'm going out here. Shooting. Got down. Yeah. Bro, I was just about to come in and get some snacks. Ain't getting them now. Bro. But pretty much, pretty much, uh, the manager came in here, started dumping, man. As soon as I left out the break room, he went in there, man. By the grace of God, yo. Man, I don't know. That shit, wow. Just left out. So, huh. There's a lot to say, um, about, uh, what could bring why why is this happening in our society you know um and it's hard for us as a people as american sit as united states citizens it's hard for us to diagnose the problem collectively when capitalists who own everything and the mean and and, and like the means of production but owns all media to tell you that it's not capitalism is everything but capitalism. So it's hard to really identify the problem, which is capitalism, when we have media and other people saying it's everything else but that. Now, it's, it's whether capitalism because of distress, is whether capitalism because of mental health being falling through the cracks because mental health is not really addressed. So it could be different forms of why it's capitalism. So, um, yeah, just, uh, unfortunate. I'm going to play it one more time and just listen, a customer walking up. So literally like there's not enough, there's not enough emergency vehicles on site, whether ambulance or police, for a customer walking up to even know that something is really even going on. That's how soon this video uh, was made. Just unfortunate. Uh, let's let's continue. Let's see what other uh, items I have here. Oops. Oh, I got to go out of the thread. My bad, everybody. Um, this, of course, is in Chesapeake, uh, Virginia. Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, and now let's go to another video here. Uh, just want to get the information, more details. This one is like 45 seconds. So let's listen. I think this is when it first broke. Time now, 534. There has been another mass shooting in the U.S., this one happening at a Walmart super center in Virginia. At least seven people are dead, including the shooter. Now, it happened last night in Chesapeake. That uh, sits near uh, Norfolk and Virginia Beach. Zach Lasway has been following the story from our newsroom this morning. Zach. On another sad day, this is not the news you want to wake up to. In addition to those six victims who lost their lives, we are hearing five others are being treated at a hospital. Police say they got the call at 10-12 last night. They say when they got to this Walmart, you see there on your screen, there was still an active threat. Time now, 534. There has been another mass shooting in the U.S. This one happened. Wow, so... <laughs> Like I said, that was just uh, when it first happened. Uh, let's go to the next uh, receipt here. And that's the, um, I believe this is the police chief. But let me read the caption. A Walmart manager opened fire 
on fellow employees in the break room of a Virginia store, killing six people in the county's second high profile mass shooting in four days. Police and witness say. This video is a little bit over a minute, about a minute and 15 seconds. So we're going to listen to that. But let me answer this uh, super chat first. Thank you for the super chat, Frank. CJ, what part of Louisiana is your family from? Just learned that my granddad was born in uh, uh, Baton Rouge in 1888, and he escaped the slave conditions, stowed away on a boat, and rode up uh, the Mississippi to Memphis, where we are now. Wow, that's good to know that you know the 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 story behind what, how you got to where you're at. Uh, uh, family, of course, they're they're in, they're in Texas now, but they kind of all migrated to Texas. But I think it was a uh, near Shreveport. It was a very small town. It may not even be on a map. It starts with a B. Bolding. Can't remember. I have to look up the pronunciation. It has like a uh, French pronunciation. A lot of cities in that area have that because of the uh, French, or you know what you know the French uh, history that's down there. Um. So yeah. Um. And what's the other? So yeah, they. Th that's what I know off the top of my head. I have this information written down. I just don't have the how to pronounce that those words exactly. But anyway, um, let's listen to, and thank you for the super chat again, and let's listen to uh, the news conference. Good morning. We are truly saddened at the tragedy that took place in our community last night. We are all praying for the family, friends, and coworkers of everyone that's affected by this senseless violence. I want to say to them that your Chesapeake community is here for you, and will continue to be here for you during the difficult days, months, and years ahead. Our 911 dispatch center received the first call at 10:12 p.m. last night. The first officers arrived on scene within two minutes at 10:14, and entered the store approximately two minutes later at 10:16. The first responding officers entered the store, and the scene was declared safe by 11:20 p.m. Six victims have died. Four victims are in area hospitals with conditions unknown at this time. And the suspect is dead from what we believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Chesapeake Police SWAT team executed a search warrant at the suspect's residence. And with the help of the Virginia State Police, we cleared the house. We have reason to believe that there's no risk to the public at this time. So that, I guess, is one of the latest. Let me see if I can get a timestamp on this here. This was two days ago. Um, and it's, I mean, it's just. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I did have one other item here. Uh, oh, this is from, this is two other items. So this one, let's, let's show this one first and then. We'll go to the next one. This is Virginia State Senator Lily Lewis Lucas, Democrat, who represents Ches uh, Chesapeake, which just saw a mass shooting at Walmart, calls out Congress on gun control. So that's what this video is. So let's listen to the state Democrat elect or state Democrat. The next step will be for the do nothing Congress to get up off their asses and back the government, back the president in this initiative. And I'm sorry. Um, Please forgive me. Um, my emotions are getting, uh, I'm getting carried, a little bit carried away here, but I feel very passionate about this. The members of Congress need to get up off of their behinds and do something to get behind these measures that the president is putting forth, because otherwise we're going to sit back and just continue to see these mass shootings all across this nation. And it makes no sense. And especially since we have with, uh, with, uh, within us the power to make a difference and just don't do it. And it, it just it, that makes about as much sense as the mass shootings itself. What would your message be to your colleagues on the other side of the aisle in the wake of what took place in your town? Wake up and save the lives of your constituents. And you can only do that 
with common sense gun prevention, gun violence prevention measures. That's the only way we're going to get, get to the bottom of this. The next step will be for the do nothing Congress to get up off their asses and back the government, back the president. I just wanted to hear that <laughs> get up off their asses again. Oh, wow. So she's upset. I mean, she, this is her area. So she's supposed to feel, you know, at least appear to be upset. Not to say that that doesn't seem genuine. It kind of, it seems genuine to me that she believes gun control. I mean, she's a, she, she's a, you know, typical 50 plus black person like my mom who believes still believes in the Democrats. Like, so I don't, I don't, uh, you know, think that she's being disingenuous. I think that she really believes that. Um, so here is Sabby had an article here and let's play or let's open this article. Let's get the link. Shout out to Sabby. Sab, thanks for that. This is NPR and we'll just read a little bit and, um, move on now i thought i had a video maybe i haven't gotten to it yet um that showed uh what um that re read the death no oh i saw it live on tv so i may have to go to like a cnn clip or something because our yeah I, I'll, I'll try uh, to do that so let's let's read a little bit of this article and here it is npr police released the names the names of victims in the Virginia Walmart shooting. Chesapeake, Virginia, the youngest victim of the Walmart Supercenter shooting is a, is in uh, Virginia was 16 years old. The city announced that Lorenzo Gamble, Brian uh, Pendleton, uh, Kelly Pyle, Randall Blevins, and Tanika Johnson were also killed in the attack. People are withholding the names of the teenager due to him being a minor. Four others were hospitalized. It's still unclear which of the deceased may have been shoppers or were employees at the store. The police identified Andre Bing, 31, early Wednesday as the gunman he had been employed by Walmart as an overnight team lead since 2010. Wow. The same team lead for fucking. That's no, there's no upward mobility there. Team lead, 10,000. That's what, 12 years? The company confirmed. Bing was allegedly armed with one handgun and multiple magazines on him when he was found. He was dressed in civilian clothing and was not wearing any type of armor or ballistic vest. The city and police said three of the deceased were found in the store break room. Bing was found at the scene dead from what is believed to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. According to police, the city added. Another person was found near Dead or was found dead near the front of the store, the city said. The other three victims were transported to local hospital but succumbed to their injuries. So that's all I need to read uh, from the article. We're going to go back to Twitter uh, and we'll end with talking about the death note. We'll add this part into the segment so we can make sure we get a complete story of what happened. Just uh, terrible. And I'll give more of my thoughts. I mean, you, you know where I'm going, that we are living in a very sick society. Mass shootings are a symptom of a very uh, sick, collapsing, deteriorating society. Uh, well, Broadly speaking, I mean, th there could be different dynamics and different ones. Um, added dynamics, I should say. Uh, but let's go with death note. I'm sure it's probably trending. Uh, let's go with death note. <laughs> Wait. 
Wow. Let's go here. Let's see. Did I did I say that right? Maybe I did not say that right. So let's let's go with uh, Chesapeake shooting. Walmart shooting. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. There we go. I'm looking for a trend. So neither one of the first ones brought up anything. Um, let's look and see what updated videos. I know it's on. Okay, so it looks like I, I've, I've already played the most updated on here. Let's go to YouTube and pull up the video I saw earlier, and we'll end on this. They actually read the note. I think it was a clip. I don't. Was it live? I'm going to find out in just a second here. Or we're all going to find out in just a second here. So my daughter, of course, is watching stuff. Did I save anything here? Uh, let's see. Did I save anything? Mm, no. So then let's look it up. CNN Walmart shooting this is just terrible and it's so funny because i have another story like uh, that i don't think i'm going to be able to get to but it's saying how we've we've hit the mark of 600 shootings so uh okay here it goes it just says note maybe they took the death part off so my apologies if so don't search death. I could have swore that's how they refer to it. It wasn't this news uh, uh, clipping, but it, let's play it. Authorities disclose note found on uh, Walmart shooter's phone. This just into CNN. The city of Chesapeake, Virginia, has now released new information about the Walmart employee who opened fire on his co-workers, killing six people before taking his own life. Two people remain hospitalized, including one of them, in critical condition, city officials now say the shooter purchased the handgun the very morning of Tuesday's attack. CNN's Diane Gallagher has been following the story for us. Uh, they also released a message that the gunman had left on his phone. What do we know? Yeah, Jim, this is probably the biggest development in the police investigation that we've had since that shooting that claimed the lives of six people at Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia, on Tuesday. According to the city of Chesapeake, uh, police did a forensics analysis of this, the shooter's phone, which they found on the scene, and say they determined uh, that there was a note on that phone. It was entitled Death Note on the phone. They released a screen grab of that on their Twitter account uh, this morning. Uh, look, the note talks about his grievances against himself, against his co-workers. It talks at length about God and the Holy Spirit and uh, essentially feeling inadequate and angry about things. Um, look, we don't talk a lot about these because essentially they are excuses for murdering people, six people at that Walmart. But I do want to read you just two excerpts from this here. One of them saying, the associates gave me evil twisted grins, mocked me and celebrated my downfall the last day. That's why they suffer the same fate as me. It also says, I wish I could have saved everyone from myself. May God forgive me for what I'm going to do. Again, it was entitled Death Note. Uh, the city also adding that there were talks about, we discussed that search warrant that was uh, executed at the, uh, the shooter's home, Andre being 31 years old, after the shooting occurred. Uh, they say that they found a box of ammunition, various items in there in reference to that 9 millimeter semi-automatic handgun uh, that they say he was armed with. In addition to several magazines that were on the scene at his home, uh, they found the box, uh, a receipt, and other paperwork. And again, he purchased that gun on the morning of the shooting there on Tuesday. And Look, most important in all of this, the community of Chesapeake trying to recover from this reeling from that shooting and those victims who I want to show their faces and say their names again because they are center of this shooting. Lorenzo Gamble, Brian Pendleton, Kelly Pyle, Randall Blevins, Tanika Johnson, and a 16-year-old boy who was killed, all of them working at Walmart. They were co-workers of that uh, shooter, Andre Bing, who, again, was the overnight team lead at Walmart, according to the company and had been with Walmart since 2010. 
many of the uh, survivors we spoke with described the shooter as somebody who was often paranoid or who was uh, condescending and mean to them as employees uh, and said still, though, that they didn't expect this to be the way that that was going to turn out, Jim. Uh, I want to put that note back up and see more of what this is saying here. So let's go back to the beginning. Right, yeah. The associates gave me evil twisted grins, mocked me and celebrated my downfall the last day. That's why they suffer the same fate as me. To grins, mocked me and celebrated my downfall the last day. That's why they suffer the same fate as me. It also says, I wish I could have saved everyone from myself. May God forgive me for what I'm going to do. Again, it. I wish I could have saved everyone from myself. My, may my God forgive me for what I'm going to do. So, so that's, yeah, so I, I was right. It was called a death note. They didn't have it in the title, but that is the, that's what it was, uh, <sighs> this is just, um, you know, just wait to hear more information. Uh, I mean, <sighs> I'm trying to see. Uh, you know what? He was good enough for them to promote into some sort of supervisory role, so. Let's wait and hear more information, I guess, before I can make a comment more specifically on him. But uh, think about when I'm thinking about this story, I'm thinking about the layers upon top layers uh, of how capitalism has failed us and has brought us to this point. 